guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my very first evening skincare routine. So today I'm going to be showing you all what I do every night to prepare my skin for its sleep. This is the skin on my face as well as the skin on my body. So this is my routine. So this evening I decided to have a bath. So first of all I needed to get rid of all traces of the kids. I then lit a candle and added some winter essential oils from the White Company. It smells amazing. While the bath's running, what I'll first of all do is get my Clarence eye makeup remover and a cotton pad. These are just really cheap ones from the pound shop. I'll put a few drops of my eye makeup remover onto my pads and I will start off by just holding the pad onto each eye to get the liquid into the mascara and to kind of start to loosen it off. I will then work the pad very gently over my eyes to start removing all of my mascara. I then like to get into my nice warm, I actually like a boiling hot bath, a bubble bath and I will just soak there for like a good 5, 10, 15 minutes, whatever I feel happy with. So once I finish in the bath I will then come out and I will wet my face a bit more. I will then use my Environ foaming cleanser and this, I absolutely love it. It is the Clarisonic Mia 3. I wouldn't recommend giving the three, it's the same as the one to be honest and it's more expensive this one, so just get the one if you want. So what it's designed to do is, you get it wet and then it's meant to push the water as it goes around, it's meant to push all the water into your skin to hydrate it and to just clean out all of your pores. It is such a great product, I would highly recommend this. So it's a two minute cleanse, it's kind of like an exfoliation. So you do all over your face for the whole two minutes and you feel amazing. Your skin is so, so, so soft. Once I finish with my Clarisonic, I will then pat dry my face just to not remove too much water from it. After I've done that and I've dried myself off, I will use my dry body brush after that. This is from the Body Shop. It was about eight pounds and it is such a great investment. I bought this quite a while ago and it's still going strong. I then brush this all over my body towards my heart, apparently that's what you're meant to do. It's great for circulation and cellulite. Once I've dry brushed my whole body, I will then use the Body Shop Almond Milk and Honey Lotion. This is for all over my body. It's meant to be really, really good for sensitive skin. Eczema, psoriasis, this is the cream you need. It smells amazing, it smells like holiday. Once I've finished doing that, I will then move on to my face and I love Environ, so this is what I use. I am on stage three, this is a classic night by Environ and it again is just amazing. And I feel that since I've been using Environ, you have to go up in its steps and since I've been using it, my skin has just improved so much. Once I've completed all of that, I will then go ahead and put on my Clarins hand and nail treatment cream. I will put this on my hands, but I will also put it on my feet because now it is summer. I don't know if you guys have the same, but my heels get really, really cracked. I don't know if it's because I wear flip-flops all the time, but they really do get cracked. And this is an absolute lifesaver. So once I have finished my skincare routine, I will then go downstairs for the night and I will always, always have a hot water. I feel like hot water is very cleansing for the skin, so that is my last drink of the day. I won't have any tea or coffee because I like to have a cleansing water to kind of steam out anything that needs to come out from the inside, if that makes any sense. Thank you so much for watching my skincare routine. I hope you like it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and press subscribe below to see more videos like this. See you guys soon. Bye.